The sutures that are on the front of the forehead, such as the metopic suture or the coronal sutures, if they fuse, we'd like to offer a frontal orbital advancement where the forehead and the upper part of the eye sockets are brought forward with one surgery. And all of these surgeries in, involve a plastic surgeon who's trained in craniofacial surgery as well as a pediatric neurosurgeon. So together, those two surgeons will bring the forehead forward in a different shape and bring the eye sockets forward in a different shape to make up for the growth um, that was missing from that one fused suture. That surgery is typically done between 9 to 12 months of age. So this would be an example of a child who uh, has undergone metopic synostosis uh, surgery. Uh, the, this is one of the frontal sutures where the suture down the middle has closed early and caused that triangular um, uh, deformity. Uh, we've uh, removed the, the forehead bones, removed the, the um, eye area above the eye socket and reshaped it. So this is before the surgery. This is after the surgery. The forehead is wider. The, the eye sockets are more normal in shape and there's wider distance, more normal distance between the outside of the eye sockets. And the sides of the heads have more fullness to them instead of that indented shadowing. From the bird's eye view, this is again before the surgery and after the surgery. And this is where the forehead has been rounded off. There's more space for the brain and there's more protection uh, for the eyes. Th this surgery is uh, roughly around five hours uh, for both metopic synostosis or for coronal synostosis. For the uh, unilateral coronal synostosis, which would be if this line right here is closed early, the surgery is essentially the same. Uh, we still remove that eye, eye socket bone, we still remove and reshape the forehead bone. The only difference is with unilateral coronal synostosis, there's flatness on one side instead of both sides, so all the attention is, is focused on reshaping one side of the forehead instead of both sides of the forehead. But um, the unilateral coronal is a little, a slightly faster surgery, but maybe um, three to four hours instead of four to five hours, uh, but essentially the same, the same surgical procedure. At our center, this is what we, pr we recommend for these, these type of uh, what's called frontal or anterior synostosis. I think it's just important to know that, that we are here to be able to help children with craniosynostosis.